Alright, what I've decided to do is make a video outlining some of the exercises that I use to build my finger strength. So, one of the main exercises I use is the chromatic scale. The chromatic scale is simply this. It's very easy. Now, what that is, if you didn't catch it, is just with every one of your fingers, your index, your middle, ring, your pinky, you're just going to play one, two, three, four, or any combination with those intervals, which is just the fret right next to the one you're playing. So you could play this. It's pretty self explanatory, and what you can do is just ascend it to. Because also keep in mind, when you're playing and you're, you know, trying to shred, it takes different muscles to press on the strings than to release them. So you're going to want to practice that equally so you're not favoring one over the other. And oftentimes what I find is guitarists tend to get stuck on different strings. My weak point is between my G and my B strings. So what I like to do is just take the chromatic scale and just run it and it helps smooth it out and it's not really a lick you can use to impress anybody it's more for your own benefit when you're practicing so here it is I'm gonna play it for you full speed and then I'll slow down and tell you what it is and I'll play it slow for you again. So. very simple and it gets a lot more difficult the further down you go but what this lick is is um, basically you can take any combination of frets you can do it right here right here but just for consistency sake I'll use five and six so it's five hammer on six It's five hammer on six as well. And notice with this hand that I'm doing alternate picking, so down, next string is up, next string is a down stroke, then the string preceding that is an up stroke. And then descending, it's just like you're gonna sweep it down, just rake it down. And you're going to want to do that with every combination of fingers. So right now, I just use my index and my middle finger. Next, you're going to do that with your index and your ring finger. Alright, so after that, the goat horns. You'll have the strongest goat horns in the crowd. And then after that, you went through every combination of fingers you can use with your index finger. Now move on to your middle finger. Middle, then practice those two together, then middle with that one together. That This is where it starts to get tough because your pinky is the weakest of all every guitarist's fingers. After that, it's just these two. And this is the one I have the most difficulty with and still I've been practicing this for a year and a half now. and these two fingers are still my weakest. Another exercise that I like to do to help for your hammer-ons and pull-offs is this. You're not going to need your picking hand for this one because it's just pure finger strength. And what it is, is on your G string, take your second fret, hammer-on, and then pull-off. So just like you're doing that. And then, when you're doing that, 
throw in the three in there, so you're alternating. So it's this. Two, zero, three, zero, two, zero, three, zero. Now, the trick about this exercise isn't where your frets are or what you're playing. It's this. Watch carefully. And what I'm doing there is I'm just alternating between these two fingers to these two fingers to these two fingers. And you can do it any combination of times. I like to have a little structure in my practice, so when I play, I'll play this four times or eight times, four times or eight times with these two and with this. Just double what you've been playing. So if you're playing four, play this eight. If you're playing eight, play this 16 times. And just keep practicing that. And if you have trouble with it, just do it slow. And you can work up to it. And that, I think, is the best exercise you can use for finger strength. I mean, as far as it goes, building up strength is just about practicing it a lot. You're not going to get big from lifting weights in one day. You can't sit down for 12 hours at a gym and, you know, get big guns. You have to go, and you have to go over and over and over. And over the course of a few weeks, you'll notice, we, you'll notice your muscles start to get bigger. Same thing with guitar. You can't play, you know, one exercise for 12 hours, which I don't recommend doing, by the way. And notice that your finger strength is getting better. Just play maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes every day. Or if you're obsessive about practicing, practice it about 30 minutes a day. Do that every day, every other day. And over the course of a few months, you'll notice that your finger strength is getting a lot better and you can play faster and you can play cleaner. So I hope this video helped some of you and just let me know if I can make any other videos for you guys if you have any other questions. Thanks.